so now let us write some simple code to print something so for that uh, there are two ways in which we can do so first uh, let us see how we can write the code in a document okay so let me create a document here I'm just to start writing uh, some sample code now. So we will use Notepad for now, and then uh, we will see why uh, we need some IDE because this makes our work some work very difficult, right? We have to type everything and when we already have the features available in an IDE that I'll tell more about it now. So why to go with a notepad? So usually we never use a notepad, right, to write the code. So but let us see how we can do that. So yeah, so I opened a notepad. So I'm just uh, writing some code here, public class, some name. So, do not worry about what are all this for now. Okay. So, we will discuss more about this. And then I am going to write something like public static void main and uh, basically these two lines are the main reason. Everybody says that it is difficult to learn Java. So, for now keep these two lines aside so what we are going to do is dot print ln so here i'm going to write hello world okay so as an overview what we are doing is uh, we have a class that is public public in the sense it is act uh, we can access it out of the folder wherever it is okay from other folders also we can access it and then uh, public static void main so these are this is also accessible to other uh, methods which are out of this class so yeah and then static we will discuss more about this later void is uh, like it's not going to return anything value it is just going to consume the data and then main so this syntax is required to start any java program okay the jvm uh, triggers the main method first and then from there on our execution starts so this syntax is important so this uh, arguments is nothing but if uh, you want to pass some arguments as input to the program okay and this is nothing but an array declaration so don't worry much about this syntax right now and here what we are doing is we are going to print something okay so we are going to print hello world okay so these these are internal classes of java this is the internal class and then some methods within it so don't worry much about that okay so the main important uh, part over here is so if you uh, have a public class right then the name of the file should also be the class name so let us save this as test.java because test is the public class name so whatever is the name of the public class the file name should also be same and yeah okay so let us save this okay now you see that we have this test here and then we can open some uh, command prompt here okay so we have opened this uh, command prompt in the same location and now we need to compile this file so for that we can use java c that means we are calling the compiler in the jdk and then giving this file 
So if you see here, one dot class file is created, right? So this is nothing but the byte code. The compiler has taken the source file and given us a byte code. So if you just try to see it, we cannot read it, okay? It's not a readable one, okay? So this is the byte code it generates. Now this test dot class can be executed on any platform. Okay, so let us see how we can execute it here. So we are just going to use the Java command and then test is the class name. Okay, it has printed hello world. So in this way we can use notepad to write our program. So if you see a uh, lot of uh, formatting, we have to do everything manually. And uh, suppose if uh, if there are some mistakes, so suppose if I forgot this semicolon and now if I want to compile it again, I will get compile time error, right? So these compile time errors can be identified by what we call as in, uh, integrated development environments, okay? They are color coded, they can automatically format your code, they will compile the code as you are writing and they will tell us the compilation errors on the fly. You don't have to explicitly compile anything. So let us see how we can do that. So for that uh, basically we need to download these IDs first. So there are many IDs available, Eclipse is uh, one of them. We can also use IntelliJ. So IntelliJ is uh, not free, okay, the ultimate version is not free and the community edition is free, but then if you want all the features and but still if you want to go with IntelliJ, we can uh, download that as well. So Eclipse IDE, so let us uh, download this, okay, so we have to download the installer first. I'm downloading. Okay. It's getting downloaded. Meanwhile, I'll show the IntelliJ as well. So, IntelliJ, so it is created by JetBrains. So, if you go here, this is a an ultimate version and it is not free for first 30 days it will be free then if you scroll down you can download the community edition okay and it is free of course so either you can use eclipse or intellij or you can also use visual studio code if you already have that okay that will also work out for running java programs so let us see it is still getting downloaded Okay, it is downloaded. So let me open it. I'm running the installer. So when the installer open, we'll have some options like this. So uh, you can take only the java one if you are going to practice only java projects and then if you want some more uh, enhanced features like if you are building very huge applications or web-based applications then you can go for the second one okay so let us take the uh, basic one first okay it is going to ask the jdk installation folder Okay, it is pointing to 7. Okay, let us install. We can change the JDK later on as well. Okay, it took a couple of minutes to install. So, let us launch this. 
so it is asking for a directory as workspace so workspace is nothing but uh, what eclipse does is it creates a uh, some folder for itself where it stores all the project related or the formatting related information for that workspace okay so that is why it will ask for some workspace so i'm leaving it here for now and uh, where did that go okay and we will launch this continue okay so this is the workspace now that is open for us okay if you see that workspace okay, if you see it has created this workspace and it creates some metadata for the workspace okay now let us create a project so either you can create from here or you can create from file new project okay either ways you can do it and it will ask for which project you want to create so basically you can type in java project and then give some name of the project so usually all the project names so we follow a lowercase convention okay hyphens we are not using okay test project we have created you can use the execution environment whatever as of now let it be on 17 and then yeah so you don't need a module info file now next and then if you see there is some source folder created and we can finish open perspective it is asking so basically in uh, eclipse ide we have different perspectives like the run or the java perspective or the debug perspective in that way okay so wherein that specific uh, features it shows like if it is a debug perspective then it shows some different windows with, that help you to debug and if you see here it is a uh, on the top right corner okay if it is a java ee perspective then it shows if you see servers all these things so it changes the windows based on the perspective so as of now let it be a java perspective so this is the project that we created this is the jre then this is the sr so if you want to change the jre you can just go to um, you can just right click uh, so we can go to the build path and configure build path okay then go to the libraries so whatever is here just edit it and it is taking some uh, 17 version right we also have installed jdk so that location we can give so i'm selecting that 22 that we have and uh, make sure to use jdk here and not jre okay and then finish and then we can apply this then we can close Okay, now you see it is changed to jdk22 now in this is the main source folder so basically first we create a package okay package names are usually com dot something it basically represents the project name or the application name and within the package so package is nothing but a folder structure so if you go to your workspace here so if you see test project is the project within that we have the src com and test so this is the package that is there okay that is created so when you the more dots you add here com dot test dot something then it would create that folder okay so now in this package in this folder we will add a we will add a class okay so here we can give it some name let us give it test okay and we are not selecting anything else 
finish so if you see this is the name of the file right and then if you see in the location that file is created in that location okay it is in this package so we already have some error here so seems like my uh, jdk22 is not installed correctly so let us change it back to 17 it's reinstalling would take up some time okay yeah so this is the package this is the public class test that it created right so we will write the same program that we have written there so even this line would come automatically but i'm not doing that because at least that we can do from so if you see i didn't give a closing bracket and that came up automatically okay, so suppose if i i mentioned right it compiles on the fly and it gives us compilation error. so if you hover on this it will tell us what is the error so syntax error insert a flower bracket to complete the class body okay so in that way we don't have to explicitly compile and see if our uh, class is compiled okay so this is a method i have mentioned multiple times a method okay a class a method so we will discuss more about this in some time so as of now we are just trying to print some okay slot out dot println if you see as i am typing it's giving me suggestions as well like what you can do so you don't have to spend much time in uh, typing or uh, thinking about what are the methods available for use okay so that is why we use ides so if you see it has added some colors as well okay so now let us quickly run this so for that there are multiple options to do you can just right click run as a java application or you can also run it from this green play button that you see okay run as a java application okay we got hello world suppose in this main method is very much important so if you give here something else okay main one so your jvm will not be able to recognize it okay main method is not found in the class okay please define a main main method such as this okay so that is why this is this method is very important to start your java program okay so this is the basics of how so if you see other tabs here these are you know not much of important as of now your main thing would be the package explorer the actual code where you are writing the workspace and then the console okay